Hello everybody! Firstly I have to apologise for my small child who is in the background and will not leave me today because he's not been very well but the unboxing I'm going to do is look fantastic so it's not an official collaboration it's one I've paid for. It's going on holiday apparently. <laughs> So if he pops in and out, little Archie, don't worry about it. I think he's gone away now anyway. <laughs> so, I've been dying to get this one. I've been dying to get my hands on it. Um, I have sent a few spoilers, not all of them. Um, the last two months um, have been really bad boxes. I usually review this box every month, even though it's the only one I pay for at the moment. Um, everything else I get you know, in collaboration um, with Box Session. Um, this is the only one I actually buy and pay for on a monthly basis. I've got it on a 12 month sub. Um, and last month was so poor, I actually said, there's no way I'm spending two hours of my life typing and reviewing that. Uh, have you got me still? Internet connection, living in the sticks. Okay, there we go. So the month before was okay, um, which was January's. Um, I did review that, but February's was uh, the worst one I've seen in the year I've been getting it, so I didn't review it. Now, I'm going to unbox this. I haven't decided if I'm going to actually do a full review of it, because obviously it does take a lot of my time to review, um, and despite contacting Look Fantastic, they have only signed me up to the AWIN affiliate programme, which I'm not interested in making any money off my members um, via putting links in for you to sign up, so it's not something I've done. Um, it has it just has no interest to me. Um, I would rather that they give us an exclusive discount code and we pass that on to the members, which is what other boxes do with us, um, such as obviously Pink Parcel this month. Again, we don't receive anything for that, but we took the bigger discount so that we can pass it on. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so sometimes they give smaller ones and then obviously bloggers can take a percentage. I don't take any percentage. So this box, the lid of it, is lovely. It is... You want those down to the internet? Oh, I keep losing my connection. Must be really bad here. I actually want some biscuits. So I don't mind doing a bit of an informal one since um, usually I get somebody to watch the children if I'm doing a proper one. I've got my cat and my child here. <laughs> so, there you go. There's a fat Archie. He's in the background reading Peppa Pig. So, the inside of the lid this month, it reminds me of, um, I can't think who the artist is. The picture is Kiss, and I think it is, um, the design is around that, based around that. And inside the lid says, I am fantastic, you are fantastic, we are fantastic. And then hashtag LF Beauty Box. There we go. So... I leave that to one side. The booklet may say a little bit about. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I'm just talking about everything in the background. I'm just wondering whether it is, whether it says about the design. I don't think it does, but it is definitely similar to that. I can't remember who the artist is who does it. Someone might be able to tell me. But it does tell me what's in the box. I just flicked past it quickly. <laughs> I wonder if it does, because it's got a bit here about it. I'll have a proper read of it later. I'm sure you're not that interested, but I just... Uh... They are, it always has in this booklet, which I really like, that comes with Look Fantastic. It's got some um, tips on skincare, some tips on looks, um, the newest trends, the newest in makeup, things like that. Um, again, it's got some hydration heroes there. It just, I just like having a little flick through it. It's like a mini magazine, really. So I do like that. Which brings me to the next bit, which is the magazine. I can't get it out. <laughs> So, we've got the L magazine, which we get every month. Now, in absolute, complete, utter honesty. Uh, have you got those, darling? Yeah. It's not my favourite magazine. It's okay, it's about 80% full of adverts, but you get it free, it's complimentary copy with the box. So it's something to have as a nice, if you just sat in front of the telly, or like I do, sit in front of my laptop, I've got a laptop on one side, flicking through the mag on the other. 
um, and just having a scan. Sometimes you get the odd little uh, free samples in there. I don't think there's any this month, can't see. But you do in things like Cosmo and Glamour, you get little samples. I take them out and then keep them and then um, usually give the magazines to doctor surgery. Or some people can take it to hairdressers. It's just a way of recycling them and then obviously they can get some read out of it. So... I was quite happy that the box felt heavier this month. That was the first thing I have to say I noticed about it, um, is that last month it was so light, I just thought, is there anything in this? Because the whole weight just felt like it was just a magazine in there. But it's heavier, which is a good indication that there's some full-size products in there. I always pick it up, and I picked it up from the post office this morning. It did actually come on Saturday. Um... But when I picked it up, I thought, oh, yes, there's some goodies in there because obviously, you know, you can tell. You can tell by feeling it. So, I'll just go in order. Do you? <laughs> Charmin said she just puts her straight in the recycling. I was feeling really bad doing that, so I try and drop them in. The doctor's only around the corner. So, the first one is. I've got a bit of a flashback on my ring right there. Yeah. You can see. I've seen this brand before, I've had, I've used the hand mask, I've used the face mask, it's Skimono and this one is a deeply replenishing serum foot mask packed with shea butter, olive oil, tea tree and chamomile, absolutely, definitely will use that. Um, some things I do um, swap, sell, the odd things I've put in boxes that I've made up for people, um, but things like this is definitely me, um, I'll get used out of it, probably even put them on tonight or tomorrow night I'm feeling a bit under the weather I've uh, got Archie's cold which is why he's sticking by me and not leaving my side at the moment <laughs> so that's item number one uh, the second item that I'm going to pull out is by Renu Skin which is the same as um, Monu Spa I believe they're owned by the same company and it is <laughs> I like the bit where it says mature skin at the bottom <laughs> thanks for that I am 35 nearly advanced anti-aging Flash Relax Mask um, for mature skin and it says use up to one to two times a week, avoid an iron lip area normal um, and it's one where you um, put it on and rinse off. So I usually use with these type of things, um, I use a flat foundation brush really good tip for that you don't have to buy yourself a special mask brush buy yourself a cheap one pound two pound foundation brush do you nicely from superdrug to slap it on i've got long nails so obviously putting things on my face like that gets under my nails so yeah you don't need anything that you don't need to worry that bristles are going to fall out of it while you're applying your makeup because you're just using it for a mask so that is what i do so that is 30 mil i'll get a few uses out of that i would say my internet's horrendous today I would say three three uses I'd get out of that. There we go. I'm back again. It's horrible, isn't it? It's a good job it's not an official unboxing, this one. I think it's just the weather has been really bad. So, yeah, three uses out of that, I would say. I'll I'll try it out, definitely. Um, The next item is this little mini brush. Now, I've never used these before. I do use brushes. But I've never actually used these. Look at that. They are really cool and I've looked at them, but you tend to find that they come in sets and I, I never want to commit myself to buying a full set of brushes because I don't use makeup enough to justify paying out that much money to buy a full set. So I'm going to presume that's for this area, looking by the shape of it, too big for your eyes. Mm, maybe you could apply your foundation with it. I'd say your best bet for that is a blush, which is really handy because I've got a nice new blush that I got in Natural Beauty Box that I'm really liking at the moment, and it's the Benacost one, and uh, I'll use it with that. Yeah, I would say you can get away with it with foundation, Haley. but if you look at it in the shape of it, I do think you can use it for that area. For me, it's perfect because I don't use that much foundation, so I'm going to have a bash with it with that, just because I really like it. So it feels really nice actually they're all like really tightly together so yes i'm gonna keep that that's not gonna go in the box so i'll get it yeah contour uh, contour you could actually use it for contour yeah contour blush highlight i think foundation i'd probably go with bigger i tend to go with a flat head for a foundation when i put it on i find that the easiest dab stipple it and then you know blend it in with a blending sponge if you need to but my skin's quite good so i don't really need to i find brushes are okay with me foundation so that's that one i will pop that back there and the one item i did know about which i'm really happy to receive this month is this 
now I'm going to try and pronounce this. Ah, she's disappeared again. <laughs> it's Omarov... <laughs> You're all going to laugh at me. Omarovi... Omarovica. Do you know what? I'm going to Google how to pronounce that next time because they've had a few of these in boxes and every time I try and pronounce it, I'm like, no, can't do it. This is full size. It is a 30 mil and it is the Balancing Moisturiser. Their stuff is really good. Um, I've got the Queen of Hungary Mist, which is so nice. It smells really gorgeous. And a few of their face masks. I've used the thermal one. I've used the, the one that's like a clear type one, where, where it's a bit like the Glam Glow. Um, gets all of your impurities out. That's fantastic. Really good mask. Um, so that in there, I'm going to guess that's going to be at least over 20 quid probably even 30 for that alone I would say I will google it later and find out and obviously I'm tempted to do a full review I'll consider it at the moment see what happens but um yeah that's going to be 20 to 30 quid item you know it could even be more the mist is worth 50 pound so that's the fourth item the fifth is a brand we've all seen quite a lot recently in boxes last month's um oh sorry it's 30 mil Sam it's definitely full size. I don't think I can smell it through the... But I love a moisturiser. I like trying them out as well. I like trying different ones, see what I can get on with. Um, is Skim Chemists Rose Quartz Youth Defence Lip Plump. Ooh, that's interesting. So that is an 8mm. I'll take it out. Ooh! Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. I'm impressed with that actually. That's got to be full size, at eight mil that size. Oh, definitely. I really do like lip plumpers as well. So I'm impressed with that. That's uh, that's a good one for me. Um, I like to use them under my lipsticks. I am nearing thirty five. I just mentioned that. That's the second time I've mentioned that today. When you get a bit older. I'm lucky I've got quite big lips, but everybody will know if you're not in your 20s or teens, you do start to get lines on your lips. Lip plumpers, to me, is the obvious choice for um, plumping them up before you put your lipstick on. Now, I know some of them do hurt a bit, I know some of them do tingle a bit, but, you know, I have my eyebrows microbladed, I've had tattoos, I'm used to pain. That kind of pain is just nothing. I've, I've had two kids. Um, so... They're perfect for me. I do not want to go down the road of having lip plumpers, um, lip fillers, should I say. To me, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. It's a no-go zone. No-go. I actually know a lady who's my friend, Martine. Uh, she does my nails. And she's had so many problems with hers. And she's only a young girl. And she's had them up here in her face. Um, she's had to have them dissolved. She said that it was actually the worst pain she'd ever gone through. So, um, lip plumpers are ideal. So, the next, and I've just taken these out so I can show you, is a brand we've all seen before. These are quite high-end and it's, is it pronounced Deuce? Or Deucey? I think it's Deuce. And it is, um, Freematic Eyeshadow Duo. And the colours are... Number 78, Kate, and number 81, Tenley. Now, I really like these. The only thing I did notice that I'm going to mention, look at the back of them. I'll show you the front first. I think one's upside down, isn't it? I've got the little Ds. Can you see those? So one's like a chocolate brown, and one's like a bit, they've both got a bit of sparkle in, one's like a caramel. Can you see? Now, turn them around. They're designed to go in one of their palettes. So, although I really do like the items, possibly, you know, if you look online, that's going to be a quite pricey thing if you want to get the palette and fill it up with the other bits, which is obviously why they do it. I'm not daft enough to know people would be like, oh, I really like those, now I'll buy some more. But I'll bet that a palette from them is quite a pretty penny. You're probably talking Huda level of uh, palettes there, I would say. But... They're also, because they're so tiny like that, even though they're little, little magnetic clippings, think about taking them out in your handbag when you're going for a night out. And if you were only to use these two colours, you could drop these in your bag, and they're absolutely minuscule, aren't they? And obviously you'd be able to take just your eyeshadow brush and have a bit of a touch-up while you're out. So that the colours are perfect, really suit me. Um, 
I can actually say for once, I'm going to use everything that's in that box. Um, really, genuinely, I am. Um, I think it's a fantastic box this month. Last month, so poor. Everything was tiny. I just went, no, not doing it. But so we've got um, the Omarovic, Omarovic, sir? Um, Balancing Moisturiser, full size. The um, Skin Chemist um, Lip Plump, which I think is full size. I'm not, don't quote me on it. I just realised I put the brush back in upside down. It's got a little protector on it, so I'm going to do my OCD and pop it back in. And then we've got the little brush, which again, foundation, contour, highlight, whatever you want to do. That's the third item. And then we've got the uh, mask, which isn't full size um, by Renu Skin, um, but it's 30ml, so you'll get a good few uses out of it. And then we've got the two eyeshadows by Deuce, and we've got Scarono foot gloves. Is that what you call them? Foot masks, whatever they are. Stick them on your feet, make your feet feel nice. There you go. <laughs> so, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Absolutely brilliant. I pay for this box um, £13 a month. I actually have got it for cheaper than that if you work out the fact that I got 2150 cash back for the year. I signed up for a year. You don't pay it up front. You pay it month on month. So I pay £13 every month the first it comes out. And then what happens is um, I got the cash back. So if you work it out, I was, I'm paying eleven twenty five a box when you take that off over the year. But the postage is included for 13 quid. That's an absolute bargain. Uh, a bargain. There's like... That alone is probably worth 13 quid. The rest of it's basically free. And the magazine's like £4 odd to buy in the shop, you know, if you're interested in the fact that comes with it. Um, that's a bargain. That's a really good box. One of the better ones I've seen. The birthday box was my favourite up to date um, that they did with the one where you got the free lollipop in it. I think that was just a me thing because I like sweets. Uh, but I'm really happy with that. The design, as always, is bang on. Last month's design as well. I think that was probably what put me off. It was so plain compared to, like, some of the other designs have been so nice and the Christmas one was like um, a really glossy, shiny box of like the silver and it was like dark blue and it was gorgeous and it matched the uh, calendar which I had. Calendar was amazing as well. But last month's box was just like, we're not trying, it was just pink and that was it. And I've never seen that happen with one of their boxes. They usually make quite a bit of an effort. Or one of the ones I had had rose gold right around the edge and it was like a peach. Oh, and that was a lovely one. Really nice. It was like an indulge me um, edit. And they always have a name for their edits. So I think I will give it a review. Um, or at least, you know, tod it up and, and let you know how much it is and take a quick pick of the box. Um, just because I'm so impressed with it. Um... You know, I do contact look fantastic and tell them and absolutely love to work with them. I could also give them plenty of tips on what things they should be putting in their boxes. But, you know, these big companies, I'm just a small person from nowhere, man. I? So, um, but, yes, it's worth sticking your money in. If you want to buy it on a one-off month by month, it's £15. Pound. Um, is it 135 quid, Hayley? Jesus. That's a lot, isn't it? Apparently Haley's just said the content's worth £135. I'll tod it I always do anyway. I just sit there googling it and looking at the stuff and trying it out and, and tod it up and work out exactly what it is. But I can believe that actually. Um I won't be surprised if that moisturizer is nearer the forty quid mark then rather than the thirty pound mark which I thought earlier. Is it? Crikey. The lip plump is worth ninety pound. My word. Right, well I'll do a tot up. Um I will um, take some pictures. I'm not giving that lip plumper away then. If it's worth 94 quid, I'll keep that for myself. <laughs> but yeah, fantastic box from Look Fantastic. And thank you everybody for watching. Um, we have got quite a lot of um, collaborations coming up this month. Um, for March, we've got 20 confirmed already, which are ones we're collaborating with. Um, and a few more in the pipeline. And we always get a few more companies coming to us sort of mid-month. Um, some you know, it's normal procedure. They want to watch how the sales are going and such like. But we have got 20 confirmed, so keep your eyes peeled. This is the time of the month where they all start coming. And obviously we all start unboxing anywhere from, you know, the first, second, third onwards at 
tend to be like the hit time for boxes. Um, some people do actually schedule theirs for the end of the month. I don't think I could ever wait that long. I wouldn't mind like now, 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 now. <laughs> I was purely on Saturday and was so tempted to drive to the post office to pick this up because I knew what it was um, and I thought I just can't so I went this morning and got it. <laughs> I was dead to the world. Anyway, thank you ladies and thank you as always for being members and um, we're all really grateful and we all love seeing your posts, keep your posts coming, keep sharing. One of the things I love about this group isn't the fact that you all buy, sell and swap things. I love it when people share things like they share their hoards, they share their... Um, vanity tables and um, what posts they've had today and do like oh look what I've got in the box I'm so nosy do you know what I do every single time with my phone I click on a zoom like this I look at what people have got and I'm like oh look at that I'm like a magpie you know attracted to like glittery sparkly things and I'm like oh my makeup and even though I'm not the biggest biggest makeup person in the world I just love seeing it someone's got a new palette oh I need to have a look what that looks like someone put some swatches and I'll have a zoom in and a nose and that's genuinely the best part of the group for me I'm um, just seeing everybody happy and no one judges as well and I think that's a big thing you know some of us get 10 boxes a month some of us get one some of us get none but nobody judges anybody on the amount they buy and you know what they love getting and it's I just I hate all of that nastiness you know no one should be judged it's about making you feel better um, which is why I created the group because I'm a mum and I want to buy things that make me feel nice because I have such a busy time running around after those two <laughs> which is what I'm going to go and do now so thank you very much and I'll go and chase my two little mini me's and um, I love you all a lot and I'll see you soon bye for now